All right, hey guys, it's Crazelays. Welcome back to the NR2003 series here today. Uh, we are here going into the final 10 races. We're going into Bristol here today, 225 laps. Dan Park is your points leader over Josh Fox by 63 points. However, Devin Smith in third. It's the stretch starting from second, really. They are 201 points back. Everybody has to start doing good now. 18 and 2. They really need to start finishing ahead of them to have a chance at this. I don't even know if anybody, uh, let's say 500 points back, right? So, I don't know if anybody Palmer Downs is going to be able to do it, but we will see. Uh, other than that, let's get on into Bristol here. We'll be back with the points later. It is 225 laps, two times fuel and tires like normal, and 103 AI strength. Let's get on into it. Alright, there we go. Sorry. Alright. Look, it's Quali. And I'm pretty sure I know all the drivers by now. I actually don't need the list. <coughs> oh, Ben Perk is on pole over Causey. Hewer, Jay McDonald, Jackson Wade, Crapley, Merkel. Andrew the fourth, Baron Elam Jr. and Joshua Balliet. And then uh, the rest of your starting lineup. James Bush, Palmer, Carlos, uh, Brian Glenn, and Lingerfall all come from the back. Dan Park starts 32nd again, which I don't understand how people box this 26 to. Interesting. Uh, before I do that, I'm getting a happy hour. I'll let that go while I grab the points so I can just watch that while this goes on. Ooh. I hate my phone sometimes. All right, happy hour is complete. I am grabbing one more thing and we will be all set to go. All right, so before we get into it, um, so Ben Park is on pole in the 24, and the TV1. Actually, we'll probably just let this count down while I do this. Um, as for that, Dan Park, your points leader. Driver like I said, starts to towards the back. Oh, that's happy hour. God damn it. Dan's 32nd. Fox, start 26th. Devin Smith, who is third in points, starts 23rd. Cropley, who is fourth in points, in the three. Um. Starts sixth. And then fifth in points, Connor Cunningham in the 28th, starts 15th. All right, let's get on into it. To get ready for the command. <laughs> and here we go. Is anybody having a problem here today? Does not look like it. I think we got one pace lap here. Yeah, it looks like everybody's good. 39 cars set to go here at Bristol. 
we'll see how it goes here today. Pace car pulls off. We are green at the last great Coliseum. Ben Park gets off to a good start. Hubert now has uh, Jackson Wade right behind him. Side by side with Markle and uh, for Jay McDonald up there. Ben Park pulls away though pretty easily. And we are already under yellow. Holy shit. Oh, looks like Max is out. Dylan Rash got involved in that one. And we're going to go back and see what happened. It started with Mal and Andrew the fourth actually right behind these guys. I didn't even see this. 11 gets turned. And then there it goes. Dylan Rash couldn't get around it. And the 11 goes up and over. Josh Fox was part of this. Dylan Ibrahim, Max Service. Got a couple drivers all in here. There's our first wreck of the day here at Bristol. Max can slow down. Get involved. We will go back green. We do have some pit stops. So we will be back. I think we're going green this next time. Andrew the fourth, Max Service, and Dylan Rash are all out of the race. Reese Schaefer one lap down. Everybody else on the lead lap. Ben Park over Causey. Matthew Hubert. Jackson Wade. Yeah. Tyler Merkel. Baron. Cropley. J uh, Josh Marcy. Uh, Jesse Adams and Connor Cunningham are your top ten. Get ready to go back green here. I'm sorry, I didn't even look over happy hour today. That's my bad, guys. Pace car pulls off, though. And we are back green at Bristol. Coming to lap 8 at 225. Ben gets off to a great start. It's because he's stuck on the high line. And he's probably going to get shafted way back now just because of Reese for being up there with the lap car. So we will see what happens here. Cause he continuing to fall back at the moment. Crawford, now they're going to go three wide right here. That's not good at Bristol. Can they get through that? Oh, very tight going into the corner there, and they clear that somehow. And make it through. Let's go back up here. Ben Park pulling away by quite a bit over Hubert, Jackson Wade, Markle, and then Farron. Top five. Oscon still on pit road. I don't know if he got spun or something. But he's now two laps down because of that. Now you got Emerson to the inside of Daniel Voiles. He's trying to use that high line but can't get it to work right now. A three wide towards the back a little bit. There's Sam Oscon might be coming off pit road now. We'll find Dan Park here for a second. Oh. He's going to go three wide with Lingerfeld and the eight of Mitch Hodak. And they touched there, but they made it through that, surprisingly. And they're going to go three wide again behind. Very tight. They get through it for now. Back of the pack is very scary. Ben over Hubert, Jackson, Markle, Baron, Marcy, Cropley, Jesse, Connor, and Causey hangs on to the top ten for the moment. To go find some battles to look at as Reese is continuing to fall back, so maybe he has a problem with his car. Dan Park back here side by side with Voiles. He's actually around the first two champions. He's back in 21st, so he's still about almost top 20 right now for the 18 of Dan Park. Josh Fox, however, actually, I think it's ahead of him. Josh Fox and Devin Smith are ahead of him. 17th and uh, 16th. And then actually the other two top five guys. 
Uh, Cunningham is ninth, and Cropley at the moment is seventh. So they got a lot of work to do to catch up, and man, Ben Park is pulling away over Hubert. 1.3 at the moment. And the battle really is for Merkel and Jackson Wade. As we're on lap 18 right now, 225. Fastest laps of the day. Looks like Ben Park, Hubert, Crapley, Farron, and Adam Garner actually. Looks like he has a fast car. So let's see. We'll see who has the long run car. And if they can pass or not. Are we going to get the lap traffic here? I think. Well, of course, Reese. For some reason, Reese seems to be a little slower. But. Yeah, they're about 12 seconds from Voiles already. As for Sam Oscon, I think he's in that state of where he's just going to continuously pit. Looks like he's got a lot of the damage fixed, so maybe he's okay. Nope, he's still coming down for it. Alright. Never mind about that. And Hubert's still losing time, which is quite surprising. It all depends on lab traffic, I think, now. God damn fucking pace car. We'll watch Josh Mercy as they're close to Farron right now, see if they're gonna make a move. Will anybody be able to catch Bumper? He's just dominating this race. Got lucky in the draw this week. Oh, Jesse Adams up to the wall there. Out of nowhere. Not unfortunate for him. Hopefully that didn't damage the car. This Cropley is up here trying to get around Josh Mercy here now. Jesse hangs on for a top 10 for the moment. Back there. Cropley is there at the 88. Can he get to the inside though? Is our race leader in traffic yet? Not quite. Reese is there. 1.5. They definitely lost time. Jesse hanging on to the top 10 right now. Is Devin Zimmerman looking to get inside the top 10 here? I don't know when they're going to have to pit. Probably going to be a while. As we got under 200 to go. How's everybody's day? I don't know if we have any passing at the moment. Maybe towards the back. Maybe not. Not really. Ben Park, though, having to lap Reese Schaefer now. Can he get around the 17? That's a question. The 24 goes to the inside. Looks like in the 3 and 4. We're going to watch Ben try to get through lap traffic now. As Hubert caught up because of that, but now he's got to get around Reese Schaefer. That's the next one to go lap down is Daniel Voiles. And just pulling away once again, Ben Park is. At a 15.7 and fastest lap so far today. Slowest, I guess, would be Reese at a 16.1. Not having a good day. Crapley, Cunningham, 7th and 8th. Dan Park just outside top 10 and 21st. Fox is 17th. So yeah, 17th, 21st. 7th and 8th. And then who am I missing? Devin Smith in the 9th. 16th. So everybody's ahead of Dan, I think. At the moment. 
But you never know. He always seems to have really good pit stops. As Ben Park continues to dominate this race. And the 21 of Carlos Gutierrez is out with an ignition problem. That's unfortunate for one of the... But good news for Sam Oskin. They'll be able to get a spot. Reshay for two laps down. So that means we got 35 cars left and 33 in the lead lap for the moment. Until Voyles gets put a lap down here. That's coming up pretty fast. Probably really hounding Joshua Marcy at the moment. Trying to get around. They just need to get a great runoff of a corner to be able to make a move. And it's very hard to do here at Bristol. The AIs don't do what they would have did at this point in the careers. And would have moved them out the way. They don't really do that here. So they usually just tend to ride behind each other until they can get the right run. Like Cropley right here might be able to. Couldn't take advantage of it though. He had definitely had a great run. Markle now going around Reese Schaefer. Reese holds him up a little bit. Cropley though to the inside of Marcy. So maybe with some tire wear, people will be able to get to the inside of each other. Cropley really wanted to make up some points here. He clears the 88. And gets up on the 7th. And now that allows counter Cunningham up here to get around. No, not really. Cunningham could not get it to work. Had the inside. Let's see. Ben Park working through the lap traffic at the moment right now. Got a lot of it around him. Christian Bracken now lap down. What's going to happen with the 26 and the 7? Almost three wide. Pushing Voiles a little bit. As we'll come back to Ben Park here in a little bit. We got Jesse Adams battling. Marcy did get put out of line it looks like. Now falls back right now in the 9th. Actually, 10th falls behind Jesse Adams. We will continue to watch this. Seems like everybody ahead of him is kind of battling now, too. But also has the Reese Schaefer up here that they're all trying to get around. Hubert still 1.8 back, trying to catch up to Ben. Oh, they really looking to get around Connor Cunningham up here. Jesse Adams almost hits Reese Schaefer. Jesse clears Reese. Reese really won the first race in the year in that 17 car. And now hits the wall. And it looks like Fox hit the wall back here. Oh, man. When I was testing, that wasn't happening. So I don't know what changed. Interesting. Fox has major damage now to the right side. That's going to make him slower. Now they're going to go three wide right here. Oh, the 71 of Hoax. It's turned almost, and he's going to come back up the track, up into the 14, and Dylan Abraham. Are we going to have a yellow? Is anybody going to hit these two? They get back going. We are under yellow. So we'll go back to the 71 and 31. As I presume that is why the yellow is out. We got to keep going. Right here, with Fox, who, you know, is very slow. Hoax just tries to stave off of him, and looks like the 31 hooks him a little bit. They both come back up the track. Hoax gets into, they both get into Brian Glennon, and all three of them are going to have damage now. And I am almost certain that is why the caution came out, as I don't see any other damage cars. So now we go find pace car. We'll get back to you here in a second. Oh, sorry. There we go. I will be right back. Alright. Going green this time. Bye. Nobody else out of the race. 21 left in the lead lap. So Ben was definitely lapping people there.
Or that happened under yellow, probably. Uh, other than that, Ben Park is your race leader over Hubert, Jackson Wade, Markle, Farron, Connor Cunningham, Devin Zimmerman, Barrett Compton, Andrew V, and Devin Smith is now up top 10. Cropley has fallen outside the top 10. He's a lab down, so whatever he did on pit stops under yellow did not work for him. Josh Fox is 15th and Dan Park's 14th, so here we go. All right, and it looks like all the leaders being held up. Dylan Abraham very slow right now. And I'm trying to figure out who is or isn't on the lead lap that's trying to pass these guys. A lot of them might have a chance to get a lap back if a yellow happens here. I don't know who, like, Zimmerman down there. I don't know if he's in the lead lap or not, but he's passed Devin Zimmerman. Here comes uh, Matthew Hubert to the inside. That's for the race lead, at least from what I know. No, Zimmerman is the race leader. But this is very tight back here with all the lap traffic and damage cars. And they are definitely four wide back there. I thought they were. Cause he's three wide. Oh, Cunningham's going to get turned by Farron. And they make it through that. Oh, someone didn't. Ben Park got turned. Your race leader is around. Old race leader, you ready? We're going to go see what happened. I think he turned the 31 to Dylan. Oh, wait. I think Dylan hit the wall. Now Ben Park gets into him. Gets the 7 of Joshua Bally out a little bit. And it just on from there. Dan Park and Fox are right in front of that. Right behind it. And they somehow managed to get through it. Does everybody else make it? And it looks like everybody else is fine. Oh, nope. Devin Smith gets turned before the line. Andrew the fifth hits the wall and Smith cannot avoid it. One of your top five in points gets some damage there too. And we will be back with the restart. All right, we're going green this time. Uh, everybody's still in the race. Got some two laps down, you can see. 13 on the lead lap. Devin Smith somehow the last one. Um, that's for on the lead lap. Somehow Dan stays on the lead lap, and he's up to third. Uh, Devin Zimmerman, your race leader. Uh, Voiles. Hubert second. Voiles is fourth. Andrew fifth. Andrew the fifth is in fifth. Uh, Barrett Compton, Josh Fox, James Bush, 94 Sebastian Palmer, Emerson Arden, uh, then you got Adam Gardner, Brian Glennon, and Devin Smith, you're 13 on the lead lap, and we are green, and people get their laps back, you might be able to, and we are under yellow again, and Causey is out of the race, we're gonna go see what happened here on the restart. Looks like Brian Glennon just tried to go on the outside, hits the 40, gets slowed up, spins down into the inside wall, collects Jackson Wade, Causey, Brian, and Markle there. And we are going to have ourselves, it looks like a wreck fest now. We'll be back with the rest. Oh, maybe this is why people are going to lap down. Oh, that's Bristol AI for you. We'll be back with the restart. And Brian Glennon is out of the race. Some people, I think, got their laps back there, so that's good for them. Uh, Brian Glennon caused the out of the race. Markle out of the race. 16 on the lead lap, technically. Um, it's going to be like 32 cars left or something. But back green. Ben Park's back to the lead over Dan Park. Uh... With Josh Fox, Adam, Zimmerman, Voiles, James Bush, Palmer, Andrew the Fifth, and Barry Compton, your top ten. We are back green here. Dan Park hits the wall now. We're gonna go watch back here. The 71 is on the apron. 
Sykes almost getting turned by Adam Gardner. Oh! Oh, the 71 gets turned up into the... Almost. Oh, Connor Cunningham, I think it's involved. God damn it. Cunningham, Andrew the Fifth, and Luna Farmer. We're going to go see what happened here. <laughs> Farmer started it in the 66. They had everything going on. 71 and Hoke started it, but they kept going straight. And now we're back under yellow. We'll be back with a restart again. I don't know if anybody got laps back, but hopefully you did. Palmer's out of the race, so something happened under yellow. Ben Parks out with a header. I don't know how that happened. Yeah, this is just fucking total kick. The 77's leading with the fucking damaged bullshit of a car. Sorry, but god damn, Andrew the Fifth is your race leader over Dan. Devin Smith is up here now. Huber, Fox, Adam, Bush, Barrett, Voyle, Zemerson. And the 77's out to the race lead. We're gonna wash like mid pack now. In case anything happens. We're under yellow already. No, we're not. Okay. We might actually get some green flag laps here. Fox got around Dan, trying to you know catch up on points, and he has damage, and we are under yellow. From who? I don't know. We will figure it out here in a second. I think it was the eight. God damn it. We'll be right back. Nope, Devin Smith flipped though. Rip Devin Smith. We'll see why. Gets turned by Hubert. Then everybody just. And the eight could not avoid it. Smith flips here at Bristol. And then we have Bowen Adams and James Bush, Connor Cunningham involved again. Also cannot avoid everything going on. Jackson Wade. And we'll be back with the restart. As everybody pits again. Boy ve. We're only on lap 84. Voyles is still in, but I don't know if he's moving. Uh, Devin Smith, the 8, 24, and 83 are out in 84. Got at least 20, 30, yeah, 26, something left. 13 lead lap. Dan Parks, now the race leader. How he doesn't get involved in anything, I don't know. That's amazing. Uh, there's your top 10, because I'm tired of going over it. And we are back green at Bristol. And there are two rows of three wide now. Dan's cleared out to the race lead. Oh, Voyles clobbers the wall, and now we're going to have another huge wreck down the front straight. Lord almighty. Mercy evolved. Hoax in the 71. Farmer just piles in there. And we're going to go... God damn it, where's Voyles? It started with you. Second place car got involved. Dan's AI just, I don't know how, manages to miss all these wrecks. Loyal just clobbers the wall. I don't know why they're hitting the wall now. But they're all involved. Marcy gets turned there. The 71 got turned. Then you gonna see why Hoax got turned here. Just when he had Voyles at the wall, he couldn't control it. Hits the inside wall, comes back up. There's Bowen gets involved. The hoax spinning around while Marcy spins on top there. And there's the yellow. And we will be back here in a bit. Alright. Looks like Josh Fox is the race leader now over James Bush. 
Adam Garner, Andrew V, Emerson, Barry Compton, Angel Gutierrez, Cunningham, J Jesse Adams, and Joshua Marcy. Dan Parks back to 13th, must have pit. Uh, we have at least 26 cars left. I don't know if the 6 is still going anymore. We are green though. Dan Park on to pit lane. And Dan is pitting. Oh, Hubert. They're four wide back to Hubert clears. Somehow they're still going. But Fox off to the race lead over James Bush. We're basically just waiting for that yellow now. But Dan Park's now going to be lapped down because he pit in there is the yellow. Boyles on pit road and it looks like Connor Cunningham involved. One of the top five in points, unfortunately. Oh, nope, it wasn't Connor. It was right here, though. It looks like maybe Lingerfault gets turned around. Bear Compton involved. Looks like everybody else made it through. Fine. And we'll be back with the restart. And we're finally going to hit lap 100 here, I think. We'll be starting on lap 100. Got at least 22 cars left. Adam Gardner, now the race leader in the 42. Uh, 11 on lead lap. And we'll go from there. Hopefully we'll get some green flag racing in here. Probably not. But Adam Gardner, uh, season one champ now. Looking to get another one here maybe this year. He needs to start improving though. Same with Voiles if they want to be the two-time champ. And Adam gets off to a decent start. And he's going to clear some of the lap traffic. He's just trying to stay out of the chaos now. Oh, Cunningham gets spun. With Cropley. And I think they both make it through. And it's another yellow. We'll be back with a restart. I'm not going to go watch that again. More people want to lap down under yellow. Don't know why. We got 22 left. Ozcon, well, so 23 left. Ozcon's still going in the six, technically, with all that damage. Fox is back to being the race leader with a hella damage car. We got nine on the lead lap. Farron trying to get one back here. And we're back green. Well, over a hundred left to go still. And Fox ain't that good. It's car's name. Oh, Marcy gets turned in front of Cunningham. And we're going to be under yellow once again. Oh no, we stayed green there. Oh, there it is. There it is. Jackson Wade, James Bush now around. We'll go see what happened here in this one. Balliot turns the 44. He's sick of doing this and wants more yellows, though. <laughs> There's your pace car. And we'll be back for the restart. And Ryan Keenan's now out. Christian Bracken's now out. There we go. So we got 20... 21 cars left. Over half the field of them was gone. Adam Gardner back to the race lead. Over Fox, Emerson, James Bush, Cunningham, Jesse Adams, Farron Elam Jr. got the lap back, Barry Compton, and technically the 77's on the lead lap. But just ahead of the leaders. Dan Park still in, but two laps down. Fox, though, he's, he might take the points lead here with this. We're back green here on lap 212, or 112. 113 now, sorry. 
And I think we're still gonna have more yellows. Let me continue to watch Adam Gardner up here and Josh Fox. It's whoever survives the race here. I think we're down to that amount of cars to where if we don't have a yellow after a couple laps, we should be good to go for the rest of the race. Hopefully. We have 110 to go. Trying to find, where is Emerson in the 20? He's back here. Paul's the fourth behind Jesse Adams there. Looks like Oscon's actually finding out in track now. So they're just making laps up now. Can Fox catch up to Adam Gardner? And with the six, should be able to get up at least the 21st. So we have 21 cars left. And Andrew the fifth slams the wall there. And definitely going to lose that eighth place. Where's Crapley at? Crowley's 11th really just hanging on in front of Dan Parker right now. As Adam pulls away. I don't know, will anybody actually be able to catch up to the 42? That is a great question. I mean, Fox is there. Ain't really losing time now. As maybe we'll have one pit stop, I think, to the end. When? I don't know. I'm going to guess, like, 180. I don't know. It's a wild guess. Crowley, Dan Park, both want their laps back. They want to shot at another top 10 as they're 11th and 12th. Are they two laps down? Never mind. They got to unlap themselves. Well, actually, they just have to catch the 4, 77, 88, and the 77 to clobber the wall. So that's definitely a top 10 spot up for grabs, I think. But we will see what happens. We got seven on the lead lap. But it's really only between the 2 and the 42. And Adam is just pulling away now because he has no damage on his car. Crapley and Dan, though, look like they don't have damage at all. They're just unlucky and under the yellows. We will see what happens here. As Crapley tries to pass the two. Fox, though, happy to be where he's at. He should. Possibly be able to take the points lead if Dan doesn't gain a lot of spots here. Probably though clears the two of Fox. Marcy actually has some speed in the 88. Wants to try and go get a lap back from Adam. Adam right now lapping the 22 Jackson Wade for the eighth time I think. Fox falls back. Where's Jesse Adams now? In the 36th. Jesse. Just hanging on over Emerson back here. Who also has Farron Elam Jr. back there. For fifth. Who's battling. Is way ahead of Connor Cunningham's top 10. Right now. On lead lap. With no hood. And Barrett Compton in the 43. Who also has major rear end damage. So the only clean cars I see is the 42. May, nope, Dan's got rear end damage. Maybe just Adam. It might just be that guy. I mean, Reese looks like he's clean, but he's slow. Maybe Jesse Adams and Emerson? I think Emerson has a little bit of left side damage. Farron? Farron has no damage. Jay McDonald looks like he has none. What about James Bush? James Bush has a little bit of right side and rear end. Crowley wants a lap back though. His car is fast enough. And he's pulling away from the three damn park. Crowley's there.
Can Cropley get to the inside of Adam, though? He's trying. Can't really get the mood to work at the moment. Probably just needs a good run off of one of the corners. Maybe go a little wide, a little high, an arc the corner. Can't get it to work though. Probably trying his hardest. He's there at Adam. Do have some lab traffic coming up. Joshua Balliot. I don't know if he's back on track. No, he's not. So technically 21 cars left. Valley at 17 down now, 14. We continue to see a crop we can get around the 42. Cropley trying to go to the inside right here. Could not get it to work. Definitely has the car too. Still a lot of laps left. If we can get around, maybe get one yellow. Then get around Adam again. This Fox is 2.2 back. Oh. Someone hit the wall. I think it was Farmer there. You got slower lap traffic at the moment. How's Dan doing? Dan stuck up on the high line right now. Back to 12th. I think Mercy. No, who passed him? No, he's... My bad. They're both looking to get into the top 10. But Mercy passes the 43 for position. He's up to 7th. The 88 definitely has a fast car right now. We'll see what happens with that. As Dan Park falls back a little bit. Crawley still can't get around Adam to get a lap back. But Marcy definitely has a fast car. So we'll see what happens with that. As we continue to watch Adam Gardner here dominate the race now. I think a lot of people have led laps today randomly because of the yellows. <clears throat> Here goes Cropley again trying to go to the inside of Adam. He's there, but can he get it to stick? No, he cannot. Adam 2.2 ahead of Fox now. I think Marcy is catching up to these two now. Trying to get a lap back with 75 to go. Marcy is there.
Crawfly taking a higher line now, maybe trying to get a run. Fox catching a little bit, 1.9 now. It was under, it was two seconds. Crawfly's there again. But still can't get the move to work. 1.194 for Fox. Putting some decent laps together now, trying to catch up. Here comes Cropley again, maybe? Nope. We're coming up on lappers again. Cropley's there. And falls back in line again. Here's a seven to belly up. Cropley is going to get a chance to get to the inside of the 42 here. Nope. Goes wide because of Balliot. Fox though. 1.3 now back. Catching up slowly but surely. Crawfly's there. Can he get a lot back now? As we catch up to Lingerfell here. Will they at the pit? That's a question. I don't know what the fuel window looks like. Looks like Lingerfell hit the wall there. Yeah, he's gonna go another lap down. Cunningham's now up here. About to go one lap down. Mercy's about to go to top six because of that. Adam goes up high up the track again. Fox is within a second now, Adam. If someone pushes Adam to the high line, we might have a battle for the lead. All depends on if the three can get around. The six is catching Joshua Belliot. For a top 20. So I don't want to go away for a second because I want to look at something. But oh, Marcy almost wrecks. Right, we'll be right back. Yeah, you should be fine. Sorry, guys. We're back. Like a lapping Cropley, or, yeah, Cropley, or Cunningham now. Cropley, it's pushed out the way by Marcy. Marcy is there. Marcy wants the spot for Cunningham. That is why he was pushing his hardest. And he's now to the inside of the 28 for six. Cunningham now just hanging on. And Marcy is going to clear Connor.
Can he go catch Adam now and get around? And get his lap back? It looks like Joshua Bellia is now going to fall to 21st. As the six, the same Oscon is on track. And actually running. Looks like Barrett's the next one to go a second lap down. He's 10th. That gives probably a chance to get up into the top 10. Where's Jay? Jay is all the way up there, so... He's trying to catch the 77. I just wonder if the 88 is going to be able to get around. Mercy's there, Adam. Can he get to the inside of the 42 now? It's allowing Fox to catch up once again. Mercy's there to the inside. Can't make the move work, though. As we're coming up on other lap traffic. Mercy trying to get another good run here. Can't get it to work. Right on the back bumper now. And the 88 goes wide. Why? I do not know. We got a great run down straight away trying to get around Crawley now going back to the inside of Marcy. As Adam's now catching up to Farmer. Fox now catches up slowly but surely. And Cropley hits the wall. Here comes Fox to the inside now. Is Adam sitting inside a farmer? Fox really trying to push that damaged car. Catch back up to Adam. And Adam pits. We have pit stops. Fox stays out now. We're going to stay out with whoever in the top five stays out the longest. This should be good to the end now. Probably gets a lap back. Now it's Marcy's turn. Can Marcy get a lap back? So everybody's pit, except for Fox, Adams, and Farron. Here comes Fox. Here's Jesse. We'll just stay with Fox now. Is 
Is he going to have to fix any of that damage, though? Will he be sitting here for a while? No, he decides to not fix anything. Probably not repairable. There's Crowley, there's Emerson. Still green for the moment. Jay's on pit road. And Fox is back out. And there's Adam. You see him on the outside right here. And Fox ain't too far behind. And should have fresher tires now too. Technically by one lap, but they are there. Point four. Fox still has a chance at this. Emerson up to third. Trying to think of who fell. Or was he always there? No, Cropley. Cro or no, Cropley is just probably staying out. Am I stupid? I'm stupid. I think it's been the same the whole time. James Bush up in the fifth, though. Unless he hasn't put. Dan Park got ahead of Cropley, though. How? I'm not sure, but that's unfortunate for him. Dan now inside the top 11. Fox, though, I do think should be able to uh, take the points lead. Cunningham is going to gain some, being top 5 in the points. And Dan's 11th, though. It's Cropley. Is right now behind him. Can he get back to Dan? James Bush pits. As Adam continues to dominate this. Fox still point six, not really catching, not really gaining. So I think it's all gonna come down to that left traffic and if he can actually make a move or not. James Bush just came out of pit road. That Dan and Crawley both now into the top ten because of that. If someone else pit, I don't know. Is Adam going to structure out to a second lead here? Nope. Fox still caught a little bit. I mean, Emerson's only a 3.4 back. Looks like he might be pretty fast right now. But we will see. So Emerson ran a 15.9 to... Ah, uh, 15.9. I mean, if he wasn't behind all these lappers, I'd probably say he might have a chance, but... We will see. Is Adam trying to put Reese another lap down here again? Only four on lead lap. 25 to go. Fox is caught up with Reese Schaefer 
battling Adam there, and they have a lot of lap traffic up ahead now. Point two. Can Fox make a run for this win? Be interesting to see. Adam now catching up to Farmer. Side by side there as Fox can send it in because of that. Crawley. Way far back. Trying to catch back up to Dan, it looks like back there. Emerson's there. Crawley's nope, nowhere near. Emerson just trying to get to the lab traffic. Jesse Adams fell outside the top five. That's who it was. Somehow Josh Mercy got ahead. Mercy. Really fast right now, I think. Adam and Fox are in heavy traffic. Fox still there. Chevy V Ford. Point three for every Fox now. You got two lappers ahead. McDonald about to go two laps down. Dan and Acropoli can now get around him if this happens. Also, I'm pretty sure they can make it a fuel, but I do not know. Because they're coming around to 15 laps to go here. Fox is there. I didn't think he had anything left in it as Adam, I think at one point, was like four or five seconds ahead. Maybe he got a little more damage repair and it helps his car. Not really being able to do anything though, and we got like four lap cars ahead now. At least two five, it looks like. Jackson Wade's there, you got Oscon, Cunningham, Barrett, and the Ford, uh, Jay McDonald. Oh shit, they might go three wide here with Adam. They are going three wide. Adam now to the inside of Connor Cunningham. Fox also making his way decently through all this. Crawford got ahead of Dan. How? I don't know, but he did. Time to go. A lot of cars getting jumbled up at the moment. Fox though falls back to point nine. Adam has some tougher cars to pass now as these two seem a little bit faster. Looks like Oz kind of, you know, fixed quite a bit of the damage. Might have a little speed now. Probably a way different strategy. Emerson's still about 3.2 back. I don't think he has a chance. Farron just staying on the lead lap. Jay McDonald really just trying to catch the 88, but is nowhere in sight. So Adam comes lap 219, six to go. I think it's his first win on the year. I could be wrong. If he comes around to it. But Fox still there within a second. Yes, this would be Adam's first win on the year, and Cunningham clobbers the wall back there. 
He might lose that to Crapley now. As him and Dan are catching up to him. Fox is still there. Stay at the same time wise. Adam is catching up to these guys now. Cunningham really needs to stay ahead of these guys back here. But it's definitely not going to happen. Unfortunate for the 28. So two to go. One lap to go for Adam Gardner here. Fox trying a little hard, a little too late. To three and four for the final time. Adam Gardner comes off a of turn four and he's going to win Bristol of the Chaos Race. Fox second. Emerson third in the 20. Cunningham loses both spots to the three in the 18. Uh, Farron fourth. Marcy fifth. Sixth. Jay McDonald seventh. Uh, Crompley eighth. Dan Park ninth. Connor Cunningham at tenth. Dylan Ibrahim in 31. Alright, season 3, race 16. We'll be right back with the points, you guys. Alright, race 16. We had 10 flags for 50 of the laps today. Uh, 18 lead changes for 9 different leaders. And let's go into the results. That is going to be mangled. Adam Gardner led basically half the race. 117 laps led over Josh Fox. 21 laps led. Uh, who's this? Cropley got one. Andrew the fifth got six. One for James Bush. Voyles three. Four for Hubert. 63 for Ben Parker early on. And nine for Devin Zimmerman. Unfortunately, only uh, 21 running. Technically, Balliot retired, it says. Uh, but I think he technically was running at the end. I could be wrong. Uh, so technically, 20 running. Oscon, last one running. Diehard racer, clearly. Um... Ben Parker, Paul, Adam Gardner, you know, front runner, and met the challenge. He qualified. Gardner, 28th to go win. Uh, avoided all the wrecks and headache of the race is Causey. Finishing 35th, starting 2nd. Unfortunate for him and Die Hard, like I said, the same Oscon. We'll generate files. And let's get on into the points. Dan Park, still the points leader. After all that, even though Fox finished second, 30 points ahead, Crawley is still third, 202 back. I don't think he gained anything if Dan thought it was 202 before. Adam Gardner with his win, plus eight. Uh, up into seventh, and he's like 290 back now. A lot of work to do still with anybody third on back. Cropley, though, up in the third. Uh, 202. Cunningham falls. Uh, is actually up to fourth also. Uh, Devin Smith falls to fifth. Jay McDonald, Adam, Ryan Keenan, Joshua Ballet, and uh, Jesse Adams goes into the top ten as Bowen falls out the top ten. Uh, I still think Adam was the biggest gainer of plus eight. Looks like it. Your biggest loser. Minus 7, looks like Dylan Rash falls to 14th. And Max Service falls to the bottom of the points table with Ben Park up to 38th, Markle 37th. All three of them still shit years. 
everybody has a top 10, but looks like Brian Glennon's now, who I think flipped in this race. Um, and then only him and Tyler Merkel do not have top 10s. Actually, sorry, Angel Gutierrez does not have a top 10, but has five top 10s. And no, no top 5, sorry. My bad. Um, other than that, your top 10 points do have wins. Crawley and Cunningham do not. Devin Smith does. Jay does not. Adam, Ryan, Balliot in the top 10 all do, and Jesse Adams does not. As for your statistics, um, we'll go down through that. Wins. Emerson still the only one with two wins on the year. Adam, though, adding his list to the uh, winner list here this year. As for top fives, Dan Park and now Josh Fox, both with five apiece. The top two in the points really doing well here. Um, and then everybody else, Bowen, Crawley, Jay, all with four. Top tens, though, still Dan Park with nine, Fox at seven. Bone, Crapley, Smith, all with six. Poles, Daniel Voiles, uh, and Devin Smith both with two. Everybody else one. Kind of like the wins. Uh, then we go to laps completed. It's now actually Sam Oscon somehow. I, that's... Is that true? Yeah, Sam Oscon, 15, 1956. You know, he finished a lot down this race. Uh... I think it's because Dylan Rash was leading that and then had all those problems happen. Uh, Adam Gardner, Cropley, Barrett, and Fox on that. And the laps led. Adam Gardner now jumps up to 232 because of the leading 100-something at Bristol. Devin Smith, Emerson, Cunningham, and Bowen Adams. Uh, Miles completed. Basically the same thing, but Cropley up there over Oscon. Barrett, Fox, and Adam. As for that, I do want to take a look. Percentage completed, so it said Oscon was there. Oscon has completed. Ooh, 84%? It does, oh, sorry. 95% of the laps. There's Marcy's in 92. 91 for, it looks like, Dan Park still, and that's it. Only three people completed 90% of the uh, laps. So that's wild. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people who've led over 100 laps. And everybody's led at least one. So we will see you guys next time for Phoenix. Peace out.